Hi guys, welcome to the internal walkthrough of this new 18.6 coastline. And the first thing you'll notice on this fan, this customer's added the waterfall bench top to the end of the kitchen bench there, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it really does finish it off and gives it a, a really nice modern contemporary look. Uh, we've finished uh, the, the uh, van off in this arctic white so it gives it a nice open look uh, with the eastwood, eastwood tan on the upholstery there. Just panning around there, kept it nice and minimal um, and keeps it nice and open. Uh, as you can see and we've opened up that window at the front there, that shield, uh, and that lets lots of light having the three windows there over the bed. So, um, yeah, I think uh, that'll be a very popular option. The added front window and stone shield to the front of this van. The other thing uh, this customer has added is the ARL uh, dust reduction fan. So it's similar to the caravan, only uh, a little bit cheaper. Um, so if you're looking for another option other than the caravan to uh, uh, keep the dust out of your van, that's, uh, that's a pretty good option there. This one has also got the, uh, the small sink being a single axle and they've decided to go with the mini grill instead of the oven and so that gets you a nice pot drawer underneath there when you're looking for extra storage there. We've just got the, uh, the standard Thetford three-way fridge in this one. And you'll have a nice big drawer underneath it there. Now, the other thing this customer has also added, which I forgot to mention, is they've decided to go with an L-shaped lounge instead of the bench. So that can absolutely happen. Um, if you decide not to go for a standard straight bench option, um, yeah, we can definitely do an L shape and then you can sit on the end of the bed there and that forms like a club lounge. So um, I quite like this layout. I think it works really well. They've also decided to, instead of having the bulkhead at the end, they've decided to go with the wardrobe at the end and that enables you to uh, get into that inside of the bed there from the end. So that also works quite well as, as well. So I think you'll find that um, will be quite a, a popular option in this single axle van. Um, three bunks, as I mentioned before, so you've got, um, you've got uh, no storage underneath that bottom bunk. Um, what they've decided to do, instead of having a standard setup, so you've got your three drawers, three shelves there, but instead of having a standard 5 kg uh, washing machine, which is quite a heavy washing machine, they've decided to go for a lighter weight wall mounted one, mounted at the bottom. So this is the new NCE washer dryer. So this one's a two and a half kg washing machine and dryer combo. So you can throw your clothes in there and you can actually dry them at the same time. So uh, quite a popular uh, option I think that will be because it's nice and compact and you've got room in front of it there if you want to hang like a laundry basket there. So that works quite well. Inside this is just a standard one seat there with the sliding cavity door, um, toilet, and one piece molded shower. All your black tack fittings. And you've got your padding there at the end of each bunk. So there you have it guys. This is the internal walkthrough of the latest Coastline 186. I'm sure you'll be impressed. Uh, please visit our website and uh, make an inquiry. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.